Hey everyone, my name's Tom and I'm a product marketing specialist here at Get Response. And in today's tutorial, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to create a Google ad and how to set up a Google ad creator account so that you can run, manage, and create Google ads directly inside of Get Response. So the first thing you need to do is just navigate to your paid ads, which is part of your new menu now. You just click here in paid ads and you'll be taken directly to here. The next step from here is to create a Google ad. Just start by clicking right here and you'll be taken through to the dashboard where you can set up, link up your Google account and start to create content. In today's tutorial, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to connect your Google account with GetResponse and how to also create a Google Ads account so that you can run ads directly from your GetResponse account. Super easy process, but we'll just go through that step by step together. The first thing to notice is that after clicking connect account right here, you will need to sign in with Google. So if you don't have a Google account, that would be the thing that you would use to log into your Gmail, to your Google Calendar, to your G Drive. If you don't have one of those, just jump back to Google, create a new account, and it takes about four seconds to do, and you'll be able to continue on this tutorial. So I already have one of those, so I'm gonna jump right in and click sign in with Google. So I am operating from Poland today, so I'm just gonna show you how to change the languages there. But it's super useful just to show and to know that Google operates in quite a few countries. One of the most important things to know about the get response integration however is that we only run in usd and pln right now so these are the two currencies that you can use to run create and manage google ads and get response so it's just worth noting that the credit card attached to your google ad account will have to be one that supports that currency great so i'm not going to use any of these two accounts that i already have linked with google i'm going to use another one brilliant pre-filled for me just enter your password and once we've done this, we'll be able to go on with the next step. So you'll see here that we need to grant permission to Google to allow this email address and this Google account to manage your AdWords campaign. So just click on allow right here and you'll see a breakdown of the preferences that they want to add to the Gmail account. Click allow right here and we'll be well on our way to set up your integration with Google Ads and get response. So once you're here, after a brief amount of time, you'll see that your Google Ads account was connected and that we now need to finish the integration by setting up your account, your Gmail account, as a Google Ads account. So we just click, go to Google right here. So the next step is to either start now here or here. I'm gonna go up here, no reason in particular. I just prefer it up there. And once we click start now, we'll be able to continue through the process and start to build up our Google Ads account so that we can publish ads directly from GetResponse. So we are professional marketers, so we do need to switch to expert mode in order to set up correctly. So we'll just click on this one right here. We're actually not going to set up a campaign today directly in Google Ads, but a part of this integration is that you can create, manage, and run your ads directly from GetResponse. And it's a much simpler process than what you've got in Google Ads. So what we will do is we'll just click here and create an account without a campaign. Like I mentioned before, we only operate in two currencies with get response right now. So you do need to make sure that you switch this to the right one. I'm going to switch it actually to USD right now because it's a little bit easier to operate with. So we'll do that just so that you can see. And it's worth noting that once you set this here, you cannot change it. You would need to set up a new Google Ads account to manage that. You can have multiple Google Ads account, but just note that during the first setup, this is super important to set up correctly. And you can change these at any point in your account settings, but we'll keep them the same for today. Once I've done that, just click submit right here. Brilliant. You can see that we're all set up. We can see that we're in the right account. Great, you've got your Google Ads ID up here and now we want to go to explore your account. So just click on that one. Get all your onboarding. Brilliant. So the next thing we need to do is add a payment method so that we can support payments in your get response integration. So just head up to tools and settings. Go over to billing and then down to settings. I would highly recommend pre-filling everything in here, making sure that it's all up to date, but for the sake of time in today's tutorial, I'm just gonna show you exactly the things that you would need to have set up in order to make the integration run. So brilliant. So what we'll do right here is just enter our card details. I'm gonna enter those quickly for you. And we just need to agree to Google Ad Term and Conditions right here. And when I click Submit, you'll see what happens. As I mentioned before, you need to have the business name, your address and everything set up so that they know where to bill you. So I'm just going to type those in now and we can move forward. Just do Tom's business, quickly pre-fill those for you.
And once you've entered your business details, you can just click submit again. We'll go through the setting up billing process and once it's done, they will let you know that it's done. So sometimes you might have to have an approval and you can see there, you can refresh this page to check on the approval status, or you can actually look for the rest of your Google Ads account whilst this is being set up. I'll refresh and see what we look like here. And you can see that it's already set up and you'll know it's already set up because you can see the balance that's waiting for you right there. So we're all good now in terms of Google Ads. So the next thing we need to do, we need to go back into our Get Response account and finalize the integration. So I've got that in the tab right here. We just click right here. We'll just go back. We'll go into Paid Ads. We'll give that a quick refresh. Go right to our Google Ads again. Create Google Ads. Edit connection. And we'll just double check that everything is set up correctly. Brilliant. You can see it's all done. So that's all it takes in terms of setting up the integration. You can manage the integration at any time down here. You can add more, you can change them up depending on what you want to do. You know, pretty simple. It's a short process to get you set up.